Kalaminta Nepta, agroplants.org, also known as Clinopodium Nepta, or just laser calamint. This is mostly perennial evergreen, in the cold the leaves will fall in the autumn. The leaves are edible and can use for the nice fragrant. It reminds the mint with the marjoram. Uh, the leaves mostly can use for a uh, beverage, uh, just herb uh, like oregano or majoram, and the uh, spice of course if you dry it uh, you can uh, chop it and just use it in uh, salads, uh, I don't know, in variety of things, bread, inside of bread I made once, it was great actually. Okay, so you can uh, harvest the leaves mostly from the spring to the autumn. And uh, you can cut it freely after the plant established, like all the oregano family. It's almost the same, uh, the same treatment. It grows from 30 to 60 feet a centimeter. It's a uh, one to two feet. It's a fast-growing plant in the right condition. A small to average amount of water. Full sun will be the best, but it will bloom too much. If you want a better leaves, I would recommend half shade or almost full sun. When you see that there isn't so much flowers, uh, this is probably the best uh, location. Uh, except this requires well-drained soil. You can start from uh, cuttings, uh, burying the stems in the soil and just uh, burying them. Uh, seeds, of course, plant. And it's a really easy plant to grow. Uh, in a hot climate, you can uh, plant it in the autumn, but uh, better in the spring. It's aggressive, easy plant to grow. A major pest are will be snails, slugs, and aphids. Uh, there isn't something special. The flowers uh, can arrive in blue, purple, or white. So it's not hard plant to grow. It can use for a nice herbal and not very common. It's not something uh, at least here that you can buy in uh, the supermarket and just to to eat it like oregano. This is something more unique, and uh, you should try it. I, I believe in ver uh, diversity in the garden. So that's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and of course, like this video. Hope you enjoy.